The deployment of US tank brigade to Europe is yet more proof that international treaties on troop movements are not working. Russia is being forced to look for new ways to neutralize threats to its national security. Due to the deployment of NATO anti-missile shield in Europe, Iskander M missile complexes and 4,000 servicemen have begun military drills in Russia's east. Russia will reply to Sweden's entry into NATO by increasing the numbers of Russia's military forces, we are talking not only about some technical measures, we are talking about numbers as well. Russia will increase the strength of its military forces on the, on the borders with Finland if Sweden becomes a NATO member. Russia will not passively watch the US and NATO build up in Europe, but Russia will provide an asymmetrical response which will be highly efficient, not elaborately expensive and calibrated in accordance with Russia's understanding of the extent of the military threat. Putin continues to threaten Western military dis district in response to NATO ongoing buildup near Russia's border. The Russian armed forces are continuing to form new divisions in Russia's Western military district in response to NATO military buildup in Europe. The reason why we are looking at this map is that I want to show you that Putin is surrounded by US and NATO countries and its allies. I want you to have a clear picture in your mind because all the other information in this video and in my new video will be related to this map. To prevent an attack on Moscow, Putin is placing S-400 missile defense systems around Moscow. Also in Moscow we have mobile vehicles with nuclear missiles patrolling Moscow streets. We have S-400 defense missile systems put there along Finland and we have S-400 defense missile systems here in Kaliningrad. We have NATO troops build up in Eastern Europe having drills and bringing all kinds of military hardware all along the border with Russia. We have NATO stockpiling military hardware in Norway. This is Finland. There are 900,000 troops ready to go if necessary. In Ukraine, along Russian border, we have troops participating in all kinds of drills and training. We have NATO drills in Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, Ukraine, Moldova, Romania and Georgia. Currently, the United States has 116,400 military personnel assigned to its European command, an organization that commands the US military affairs in other 93 countries. Roughly two-thirds of US military personnel are in Germany. We have US military bases with more than 70,000 US troops there. Vladimir Putin has warned that the US anti-missile defense system in Europe risks the entire region's safety. Rockets within a 500 kilometer range are being positioned in Romania now. Rockets with a 1,000 kilometer range are on the way. But what's even worse? These rockets can easily be replaced at any moment with long range rockets that can travel 2,400 kilometers and no one will notice, even the Romanians. This is a huge danger to us and we will have to react immediately. Those parts of Romania that didn't know what it's like to be in the crosshairs will have to face our countermeasures that ensure our safety. Vladimir Putin said that the American anti-missile defense system in Eastern Europe poses a real threat to uh, Russia. That system was initially put in place uh, in uh, various countries uh, surrounding Russia in order to counter the Iranian nuclear threat. But uh, uh, due to certain agreements that were uh, made uh, recently, the Iranian nuclear nuclear threat uh, no longer exists. So all these uh, new anti-missile defense systems that are uh, being put in place uh, all around Eastern Europe, uh, basically very close to Russian borders, really pose a threat to Moscow. The Russian president said that uh, Moscow is uh, ready to cooperate uh, on this anti-missile defense issues uh, with the United States. However, he added that uh, there is no one to talk to about that as uh, Moscow here is uh, no response to uh, this issue from from the Americans. All countries bordering on European side with Russia are building fences in the name to protect from the immigrants coming from Syria. Let me ask you, 
what immigrants from Syria. All this goes deeper than immigrants. Authorities in Norway have decided to build a fence at the only checkpoint on the border with Russia in a bid to prevent a new wave of immigrants crossing. Baltic states have begun building on an enormous 250 mile fence along Europe's eastern border with Russia in a desperate bid to hold back the immigrant influx. Latvia has built a fence on its border with Russia in order to protect against illegal immigrants entering European Union. Great Ukrainian Wall Kiev plans to spend 200 million US dollars on Russian border defense. It looks like those countries are building those fences in the place where World War III is about to start. The Russian Navy received 4 warships, 4 submarines, 52 auxiliary ships, 2 bastion coastal missile systems, 27 naval aircraft and 45 missile artillery systems in 2015 alone. The Russian military is showing off its strength in a series of Arctic military drills. In one of the most recent drills, Russian nuclear submarine was able to fire a cruise missile from underwater, destroying its target with high accuracy. The submarine was part of an alleged 20 strong fleet of military ships participating in the drills of the coast of Russia in the Arkhangelsk region. Russia test firing new hypersonic Zircon cruise missiles from the fifth generation subs. Russia has conducted unprecedented reinforcement of its navy as the number of its vessels in the world's oceans has passed 100. Russian Navy anti-submarine ships will hold torpedo and artillery drills in the Pacific Ocean. The Russian Navy will receive two more IL-38N Novella anti-submarine aircraft in addition to five that have already been taken on board. Russian corvettes equipped with caliber cruise missile capable of penetrating complex air defense systems and hitting targets at a supersonic speed at a distance of 2000 kilometers will be permanently deployed in the Mediterranean. The US global lead in advanced weapon capabilities is shrinking as Russia and China move to close the gap and push the US out of areas on their front doorstep. Russian state-of-the-art coalitia SV-2S-35 self-propelled howitzer will be equipped with high-precision projectiles that will be navigated via GLONASS satellite system. A su mk fighter jet will test a short-range supersonic BrahMos cruise missile in September 2016. Now let me show you this super weapon. Russia's electronic warfare equipment producer launched tests of a tactical electromagnetic complex fully integrated with the latest air defense systems. The electronic warfare equipment guarantees the complete neutralization of all enemy electronics within 300 km radius. Russia has developed a technology that can paralyze the Pentagon's military. On the other hand, US Air Force F-35 is preparing for the unthinkable war against Russia and China.
I order to act in the toughest way. All parties threatening the Russian forces and our infrastructure on the ground are to be destroyed immediately. All right, look at the guy to port. Look at the left one. He is on the deck. On the deck, below the bridge wing. Over the bow, right turn, over the bow. Looks like you may come across the uh, flight deck. Coming in low, bridge wing level. Слава народу победителю! С праздником! С днем Великой Победы! Ура!